Yeah, absolutely, Katie. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look. So we're on the fifth floor right now, so we're going to be zooming down. So you can tell we're obviously in a very safe location, but look at this. Unbelievable. This You, you cannot tell where the Gulf of Mexico ends and where uh, Matanzas Pass, the back bay, begins because all of Acero Boulevard, it's all just one connected body of water right now. It's truly unbelievable. So to set the scene for you, we're on the north end of the island at the Pink Shell. Uh, you know, obviously a, a prominent, very busy area normally. Obviously not the case right now, but you see all of this uh, water that has just overtaken all of Astero Boulevard right now. I'm sort of looking down uh, the best I can. Obviously uh, it is getting dark, the sun is going down, and we can only see so far. But, you know, the good news, I will say, I'm not seeing any you know, giant pieces of debris or vehicles, we've talked about that, or boats or parts of uh, homes, anything like that floating away. That is the, those are the images that we saw during Hurricane Ian, right? Because there were so many uh, cars still on the island. There were so many single story structures still on the island. Everything since then in the two years, they've really attempted to try to build up as at least 15 feet. And uh, I'm looking at a house right now that is under construction uh, that is going to be an elevated house. And you're seeing the water is nowhere near where the living quarters are. So that is sort of what they are looking for uh, for the future of Fort Myers Beach but the hard part is is that we are we just recognized the anniversary of Hurricane Ian just two years ago I mean there just has not been enough time for this community to rebuild and we even talk about Hurricane Helene which of course we dealt with impacts here as I was driving on to Fort Myers Beach just two days ago to get into position you still saw giant piles of sand I mean it reminded me of when you're up north and there's a heavy snow when you see a parking lot and they just clear the parking lot and they create those giant uh, piles of snow. That's what it looked like all throughout uh, Fort Myers Beach on Mysterio Boulevard. It was piles of sand because that was the sand that was blown from Hurricane Helene during very uh, similar uh, surge, even though we're expecting it to be much worse with this one. All of that sand went all over onto Mysterio Boulevard. They were scraping all of that up to try to rejuvenate the beach and put it back on. But there just was, it happened so fast. It was back to back storm. So all of that is going to be swept away again. And I can tell you tomorrow morning, whenever we start to see these floodwaters recede, it's going to look uh, worse than what Helene did, but in the sense of it's going to be covered with sand the entire way. I mean, it's from the Gulf has just gone over and it is just rushing waters all throughout, connecting the Gulf to Matanzas Pass and just covering all of Estero Boulevard right now. That is why the town officials told everybody to evacuate. They were the first ones to do it, issuing that over the weekend, telling everybody to be gone by Monday at 3 p.m. That was more than 48 hours before we saw the worst of the conditions. I think that's why we are starting to see at least you know, we're, we're not seeing uh, giant things floating down the street. We're not seeing massive destruction at this point in time. So that is a good thing. Let's hope that that still remains the case. Uh, Fort Myers Beach uh, fire rescue officials are saying they still cannot be operating right now. They have to wait for those winds to go down. They have to wait until these roads are passable. So anybody calling 911, they cannot respond to those calls until it is safe to do so. And then they will start responding to those calls when they were placed into the queue. But the scene right now is if you are on Fort Myers Beach, you got to be up elevated like we are here on the fifth floor. We are safe from all of this water, thank goodness. Uh, but you look at this, it is just unbelievable. And Katie, was, we're hearing you talk about how it's going to continue to get worse. It's just, it's hard to fathom how it could be how it can look any worse than it does right now, right? But that is what we are still expecting. So it's uh, really uh, quite, quite, quite unbelievable is what we're seeing here. Send it back to you guys.